Someone's who do I look like? I look like <laughs> Oh my goodness, I look a hot mess. Y'all do not mind the lighting of this video. Your girl just cleaned her room, so I'm feeling kinda fancy. Feel like, you know, got my little plant back there. So I did want to sit down in my room, do like a you know, like an official unboxing. As y'all can tell by the I have lost my marbles. I did not do my intro. Wow, I'm I'm really slipping out here in these streets. What's up? What's good? It's your girl Courtney B here and I'm back with yet another video. Listen, today we are working with Ali Pearl hair. Y'all know I love Ali Pearl hair. When we get together, it's always a good time. See, I should grab some scissors with this because I'm one day shy of a nail appointment and I do not want to break something. Ooh, <gasps> they sent me a headband. This is so freakishly cute. You know what? I don't think this light is giving it much justice. Cue the sparkles. Ooh. Inside my box, I did get an edge wrap, some lashes, an edge brush, a stocking cap, an elastic band. Y'all gonna hear the AC. Sorry about that. Some care instructions, as well as a bag to put your wig in after you're done to preserve your quality. Oh, this is cute. They did give your girl some light little baby hair with this unit. Some of these knots are black, but it's not really gonna be a big deal because it's just not gonna be a big deal. And the lace is transparent. I think we're gonna go for a glueless install today. I'm gonna go ahead and install this wig on camera for y'all. And then we're gonna style this bad boy once she is on my head. So let's go. To start off the install, I did place the wig on my head, trying to do some sizing to make sure that the lace would fit everything. And I had a bit of an issue. I don't know if I had the elastic bands or the adjustable straps a little bit too tight for my head. Either way, the lace did not reach completely to the front of my hairline so I had to keep pulling and tugging and trying to finesse it with some sideburns so I did cut my sideburns a little bit janky so a middle part had to suffice so I could cover up my mistakes and to install this wig I'm using the glueless method I'm using my Aussie instant freeze mousse putting that on the front of my hairline I'm gonna smooth it all in and then tie it down with my um, elastic band y'all already know once I got all tied up I did take my hot comb and go ahead and plan out the top now during these clips of me installing this wig I did have some janky really bulky twist underneath my wig so I didn't really get it as flat as I could have by using the wax stick and the hot comb but um off of camera I did take off the wig make my twist a little bit smaller underneath my wig and put the wig back on so at the end the install will look a lot more smooth and flat but right now I'm gonna look a little bit hyped up like a little carrot top but hey you know it, it all comes together at the end all right when you guys see me adding the powder to the middle part you will see this and look a little bit orange that's only because the lace is transparent the hair is really light it's a blonde and it kind of made like a different type of color i really had no way that i could fix it besides getting a brand new powder and i didn't have one that would probably suit it better on hand so i just rocked it and then here i just did a quick little snip a little long bobbage if you will um and some layers for at the front only because the ends of the hair were a lot thinner a lot more um less dense than the rest of the hair only because the hair was so long so i clipped off the ends made it into this nice cute little medium length lob and added some layers towards the front to frame my face and that was pretty much it i'm gonna go ahead and hush because i've been talking enough during this install i'm gonna do all this that you guys finish watching the rest of this video and i will be back when it's time to talk about this wig
Now, as far as the install, I did install this wig completely glueless. I didn't want to waste time with blow drying any type of gel, putting down any glue, nothing like that. So we just did the quick and easy and go method, which was the glueless route of things. I Y'all may have noticed that my wig wasn't as flat in the actual install portion of this video. That's because I had very bulky twists under my wig. I had to literally go back, twist my hair into smaller twists, and then put the wig back onto my head so now so now this flatness that you are seeing here right now is because of my smaller twist like i always say there's never a perfect wig never a perfect unit this wig does have some pros and also does have some cons this wig that was sent to me is labeled as being 180 percent density um you're probably able to choose what density you want i chose 180 the bag said 180 so i'm assuming i got 180 now judging by how the hair feels how thick the hair feels how the ponytail looks when i do the ponytail test this this hair is clearly not 180 if it is it's a very light 180 if you are one that likes your hair to be a little bit thicker just know you may have to go up a density when i say thin or less dense i don't want you to guys take that as like a negative connotation the hair is lighter okay some people love that light fluffy airy feeling some people when they expect 180 they expect 180 such as your girl right here. Y'all know I love 180 and above. Unless it's a bob. But bob can be 150 because it's, it's a bob. But also, the longer your hair, the more thinner, you know, the more lightweight your hair is going to be because of the length. The coloring job is nice. Everything is very cohesive. There's no extra light spots, extra dark spots. Whoever bleached his hair did a phenomenal job. Um, but one thing I do want to say, this isn't really a quality issue, just a personal preference. I would have really prefer this to have a darker root or at least have there be an option to have a darker root you are going to need to kind of snip and clip your ends maybe not as short as i went but you're going to have to do a little something to your ends like you're just going to have to if you've ever experienced ali pro silky straight just straight textured hair you just know the feeling you it just hits different their silky straight hair is like of some different type of level for the price that they sell it for when you think of bleached hair you don't think of that kind of quality because you're stripping the hair of like essential things i don't know it's doing something that makes it kind of crunchy this has plenty of body girl where's my comb let me do the comb thing hair is super duper soft extremely silky and i didn't even wash this i did not wash this unit nor did i use any silkening serum only because i can't find it so i'm on the hunt for a new silkening serum matter of fact if y'all have any recommendations leave them down below i love the hair i love how it looks if you guys are really if you guys are on the hunt for a good number 27 blonde wig i'll definitely tell you guys to check them out of course do further research besides just my video i cannot stress that enough i love you guys so much i know you guys trust my opinion and i will always give you guys my honest and true opinion but do not take my opinion as your only reason for buying anything i wouldn't mislead you but still if you guys do more research on your end okay what i may think is good you may not think is acceptable what you may think is acceptable i may not think is good you get what i'm saying so just look around shop around and see what it is that you really really want to invest your money in all right a big thank you does go out to ellie pearl here for sending me this unit i thank you guys so much for partnering up with me for today's look if you guys enjoyed today's video please do not forget to give your girl a big thumb you can't even see my thumbs bro if you guys enjoyed today's video please do not forget to give your girl a big thumbs up and of course subscribe to the beehive down below join the beehive gang the beehive fam because we are lit and we are never ever boys over, over here do you understand me and then keep in contact with your girl because i'm your best friend you're my best friend and we're all best friends so add your girl on instagram i mean what and also for a quick lash check you guys your girl is wearing her chanel lash tonight from the site i'll be linked to the site down below as well as these lashes so you guys can check that out and yeah as always i love every single one of you but until next time my lovelies your crown may tilt but you never let it fall stay gilded